Hello, Sega Gecko here, and back in Undying. Um, <gasps> wow, so I don't have my normal webcam because I left that at my friend's house. It's also been a really long time since the last video, so I don't remember. I remember there were donkeys, uh, but I don't see any, and that there are bandits over there who are going to try and shank me. Um, I think I can take them. I think I remember most of the buttons, but let me just double check before I do something stupid and die. Uh, F is change inventory. Yes. Uh, what do I have? Health, that's what I'm keeping on. Tab was console. Oh boy. Is it O? J? No, no, there's one of the F keys. F1, F2, F3. F3, okay. Cool. Alright. Up to speed. Everything's going on. Uh, if I remember correctly, we're we're just gonna like keep on going through this until the first boss. Um. He's got a key. Tower key. Oh, that was back there. Uh, is there a button to pick? Oh, I pull up on there. Okay, there's the donkeys. Uh, there's a guy in there. That's part of that cinematic. So good. Um. I think we got this. Whoa. That was a weird donkey sound. Um, we have to go backwards to that tower. Well, let me check here if there's anything extra. This is a lot of empty space. <laughs> Probably an ambush or something. Is there anything at all? I guess there's a chick inside the barn, too. like a door opening or something. There's gotta be a way in there. Oh yes, a skybox. Literally a box. Um, my health's okay. Stuck. Yeah, is it a barn? Then back to the tower that was halfway to the barn. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, so God's having a sale there now. Good old games. Um, and part of it, there were two free games that I got out of it. Um, if you stayed with it for seven days, you collect a stamp on each day, then. Oh, that's where the, the guy died, he left that journal there, right? Then you get a Witcher 2 and a uh, Gamer movie, apparently as part of a series. I haven't seen any of them, but it's supposed to be really funny, I'm going to check that out later. Uh, but So Witcher 2, that's awesome. And uh, Mountain Blade, Warband. Uh, I'm not sure... I'll probably play it. Both of those. Uh, what's inside the tower? What's that? Oh, that's a window. Yeah. Isn't there something here? Chess key and the sun medallion. Okay. I picked those up by backing into them, so I didn't see it. Chess key and sun medallion. Is there an entry for that? No. Not like a window. Uh, is this a jumping puzzle? <laughs> Nope. There's no way I can make that jump. Am I supposed to go back that way? Where that guy's coming from? 
That's usually it. Oh, 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 What the heck was that? Make sure he's coming? No, I think he's shooting through. I just shot through. Well, that was bullshit. I bleed you slow, Irish. No. <laughs> I have a save way after that. Okay, so we're back here. Oh boy, let's just get this done. Really quick. Charge. Uh, was there anything over there worth getting? I got the key from this guy. Right? There's only those two. That was a whole like trip around there for nothing, so we're not doing that again. What the? This isn't right. I don't remember fighting those guys. Before. I fought howlers up on the hill, but not them. Where's that guy? Maybe there's an issue with the load. Let's see. Howlers? Yeah, here they come. That's hot. What? I didn't pick up the key, did I? I went all over that corpse trying to find the key too, and I, even though I didn't see the message, I just assumed I had picked it up. Oh boy! So this is my first episode in like a month and a half. That's all, and I haven't already said that like four times. I can use that as an excuse, right? I mean, it's been a long time since I played this. It's sort of an excuse. On the bright side, I remembered uh, most of the keys. Wow, okay, so that was literally... Like, I was looking this direction, and I was going all over the corpse like this. I was standing right next to the key that was right there. Alright, back to the tower, we get the sun medallion and the, um... Something. I already forgot the name. Great. Oh, boy. Well, one thing I've been wondering about is uh, whether I should just power through this series and start on something more. I wanted, I wanted to, I gave a list in one of my blogs before about, or blogs before, about what I want to play on this channel, and so far I've only played Clive Barker on here. Um, and I was wondering if I should power through this by doing, like, hour-long sessions. Uh, Mark Plyer did that with like Alien Isolation, and I mean the one thing I found with that is that when you do a longer video, uh, people won't watch the entire thing, and most people like like a 10 minute to 20 minute video. Although it's weird because when you do a longer than 10 minute video, people are like, "That's awesome! You need to do more of those," but like it doesn't reflect in like the analytics, you know? So maybe that's a vocal minority. But if I'd be okay with just hashing out a ton of like hour-long episodes of this just to get through Clive Barker's and Um If that sounds good to you, uh, let me know. Uh, not a lot of people are watching this series right now, so your opinion matters to me. Um, okay, we're approaching the 10-minute mark right now, and I am lost. <laughs> I am really lost because it's been a while. And I know the Sun Medallion goes with some other thing that was in that note. Let's check that real quick. Okay. Okay, 
I'm skimming this real quick. Dog beasts. Scythe. He's looking for the scythe. That. It's got to be up that path I wasn't allowed to go through before because it was stuck. And it had it the gate, and it's also the only other path other than here. I'm gonna make this episode a little bit longer because I really fudged up a bunch of stuff. And you know, test the waters a little bit with longer episodes. Um, yeah, I mean, aside from this game, just, this is a fun game. This is a great game if you can get it and. Go for it. I think it's on 50% or something like that. I'm not sure, but it is on discount right now on good old games. And I think that sale is going on until like the November 28th. Um, it's worth looking into. So, is this going to be open? Now? Stuck. Nope. Okay. Well. I'm pretty much out of places to guess, other than going all the way back. But if I go all the way back and I'm wrong and it's like right here, I'm screwed. So I'm going to check around here real quick. Um, it just makes the most sense. Shortcuts. Plus enemies don't respawn, so there's no downside to this. So, uh, I have like. Okay, there's a ton of games that I want to play here. Oh, oh. supposed to go this way, but I just don't see a connection with the medallion, and I think it's because I'm not remembering the note or something like that. It's Stuck. I vaguely remember medallions were involved with something, but... See, this is the right direction, but... I thought it was a howler. Are we done? There's another one up there, isn't there? Whoa! Like, oh, okay, I think there's got to be at least one more. They usually come in threes. There we go. I expect them to jump from there, but. This is a jumping puzzle. This does not look like a jumping puzzle. Oh, there's something I'm. You know, um, oh crap! How do I cycle speeds? Uh, yeah. Yep. That's what it is. Is it Q? Oh my gosh. Q is the quick way of using the enter key. Z. No, that's crouch. Oh boy. Nope. Wait. I can select the sun medallion? What's that do? Okay, yeah. It's a puzzle symbol, I'm guessing. That just means quest item. Back to health. At least I wasn't at full health when that went down. Oh boy. It's V, F. I'm learning the keys again. Uh, it's R. R is the key I'm looking for. It's next to E. E is the one to change weapons using this. And I was looking for... There we go. Oh boy. Whoa! <laughs> that did 
catch me off guard a little bit. Let's see. Come on, this guy. Oh, that was the corpse. Okay. You do need to go out here. Oh, this is how I'm gonna, like, sneak into this building over here. Oh, I gotta make a jump. Uh, where's quick save? There we go. Alright. Well, let's get ready because I think I'm about to find something. Is there a run key? Nope. I don't think so. Might be wrong about that. Hey. I got stuck on something. Wrong. Alright. Now there should be bandits in here. Nope. These guys. Come on. Oh, he's scripted. I would rather fight in this open area over here. That's where I heard that creak before. I was on the other side of the wall. It's meant to happen when we go in this room. Okay. Was I supposed to be an assassin or something? Did I already have a shotgun? Why would I use a shotgun when I have this thing? Sure, there'll be a reason. Okay, where are the howlers? Come on. Whoa! That's a How did I kill both of them? Why do I keep using Enter instead of Q? Oops. Oh boy. I should not turn around so fast. That was a little confusing. Okay, so up. I think is the way to go. Let's see this way. A lot of cocktails. I haven't used any of those. Maybe I should use more of those, since there's three here. Alright. Let's use a couple of those. Just because it looks like fun. And. I can just refill. Okay, good, I can open it. Enemies? No? Okay. So I'm gonna go up there and use the stairs. That's the I'm gonna jump over to the other side. have control of the jump after you jump. So you jump a little bit too far and it's just like, well, this is this is my life now. Okay. I don't think I can fall through the small cracks, that would be silly. Um, any secrets? Let's go over here. Ah, there's something. This might be useless ammunition, but whatever. I'll take it. And if I'm off. Oh. Oh, that's not so bad. More shotgun shells. We are now past the 20 minute mark. So, this is a 20 minute video now. It's gonna take me. It's going to take me forever to upload, almost like it's going to take me forever to traverse this extremely simple maze that is a jumping puzzle. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say this part is bad, like a lot of people complain about jumping puzzles. I'm just going to say if you're going to play a jumping puzzle in a game, 
You should at least make the jumping, I don't know, better. So that there's more control. Because, you know, since I can't control it in the air, I'm pretty much committed to whatever jump I make. And if I'm off by just a little bit, then I'm back down on the bottom floor. And I'm going all the way back over there. Shit. Uh, is there a point to that? There's a bit of a shortcut. Okay. Yeah. This is where I needed to be. With the skeletons and stuff. This would be a really bad place for something to like. Got the trap door key? What trap door? Is this thing gonna come alive? I probably shouldn't be so close when I use the Molotov. If I remember correctly, it's explosive. And like a stupid explosive kind of thing. Okay, so I have trap door key. Should I get an entry for that? Ooh, double barrel shotgun! A double barrel shotgun of potent force. It appears I may choose between firing off individual or double shot double shots. Dependent on my taste for maximum effectiveness in close quarter combat. I was expecting it to say double shot rounds or something. Um So I got a trap door key. What trap door? Crap. Please tell me the trap door wasn't like forever and a day away. Please tell me it's in here somewhere. I still need to use this mod. Oh! <laughs> that may suck, but that was kind of fun. Go back to a real weapon. From thinking back on that damage, it doesn't really suck, it just kind of. I was bad at aiming it, and I blew myself up. But that was pretty decent damage. Just, I think it was about the same damage I do with a fully charged Tibetan War Cannon shot, and I only had three of those Milano cocktails, so. That doesn't seem worth right. Okay. Oh, I can't jump the donkey. So I need to find a trap door. And monsters were at the entrance, so I'm guessing I should be leaving there. No, monsters came from inside. Oh my god. And then I fought them all the way to the entrance, and then I left it. So the trapdoor is probably in there somewhere. Oh boy. So they're around this corner. Should I use scry? Trap door. There's stuff. Back. Is that it? Just a quick. Oh my gosh. I'm stuck. Let's get down here. Almost to 30 minutes. I think I might call it a 30. Or, you know, right now. This looks like a good stopping point. We just went down a trapdoor, we're fighting, or we're about to fight Elizabeth, I think. She might be down here somewhere. Uh, there's crazy bandits wandering around, trying, the Trisanti bandit people, warriors, whatever, trying to like, they're working with the Howlers? No, they were fighting the Howlers before. Okay, so there's something going on with the Trisanti, there's Elizabeth, the undead vampire woman with the Howlers and stuff, and it's gonna come together right now. I think we're gonna get a lot of information about what that story is about. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching, uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you next time.